Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. I know I just posted but I feel like I have to make it up to you guys with another build. So I'm here today doing this build for you. I mentioned it in my last speed build but this is a kind of minimalist style tiny home that I did. It fits under the like mid-range category of home sizes, tiny home sizes. I'm not quite sure. I think it's, isn't it just tiny home? I think there's, yeah, cause there's micro home and tiny home and small home. So this is a tiny home officially. Um, I think it ends up being like 63 tiles or something like that. So it's pretty small, but I think it is perfect for a sim that is just starting out. It's got a beautiful little like outdoor space and it's got this beautiful sunroom that I absolutely love. And I imagine this sim is kind of artistic and maybe enjoys writing or painting or something like that. Um, and they're very like chill and maybe they want to like just read books, that kind of thing. So that's kind of the vibe I went for, but of course you could use this house for any kind of sim you want. This build uses a lot of like light and earthy tones as you can probably already tell, which typically isn't actually very much my style. I either do maybe black and white or maybe more like mid-range tones or darker tones. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone and even though it's such a small build, I struggled with it so much and I feel like I spent forever doing this build, but thankfully it came out in a way I kind of like. I'm not so sure about the front yard. It's kind of weird. I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't want it to feel super structured, but I also wanted to like actually have something out there. So I just threw down a couple of um, lounge chairs and a yoga mat and called it a day if you would like. And by all means, you can do this to any of my builds. If you decide that your sim is actually more into woodworking or flower arranging or gardening. There is plenty of space in this build. Do what you want with it. I do not care. Um, and if you are just here to watch me build this house and listen to me talk for some reason, by all means, you are welcome. And this is a safe space for you. I hope you enjoy it here. So in typical speed build fashion, I'm probably not going to continue to talk a lot about the build. I would rather talk about life things or just wherever my mind leads me. So that's probably where we're going to end up. Um, I always have tried to remember to say, if you don't want to listen to me talk, feel free to mute the video and put on some music and just hang out and watch me build a tiny house. Um, if that's what you enjoy, by all means, do that. If you want to put me on in the background while you do homework, um, as long as you can focus, that's absolutely fine. Also, I am sorry if I sound a little bit delirious or my voice still sounds a little bit tired. I am recording this video one day after recording my last video, so I'm still kind of struggling with my voice a little bit. And I also, as of currently, have not slept in over 24 hours. I just could not sleep last night. It's kind of part of what happens when you have anxiety and you just do not sleep for anything because my mind just keeps going and going. I have also been working on my microphone quite a bit today and last night, so hopefully it sounds as good as I can get it to sound. Um, I've spent quite a few hours trying to get it to sound halfway decent. I don't have the most expensive mic or anything, but hopefully this sounds okay. I kind of struggled because I found a lot of the advice online about setting up microphones was set more for male voices and that just doesn't work for me. I don't need my voice bass boosted. I don't mind, you know, sounding a little more masculine, but it just sounded weird um, and that's not for me. So I spent forever personally tweaking all my settings and as far as I can tell, it sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot clearer but hopefully it sounds okay for you guys and you can hear a difference. If not, please don't be mean to me in the comments. I am sensitive, but hopefully, you know, we won't even have to deal with that because it just sounds great. Just tell me it sounds great in the comments. One other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, I have an exciting kind of project thing coming up and I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. Uh, you should see a community post pretty soon. 
but I will tell you that I am going to be doing a create a sim video in the next, hopefully in the next week, hopefully sooner, but um, and it's going to be a sim self create a sim and I had my husband look at my sim self and we kind of went back and forth about what features actually looked like me and I had like a picture of myself up on the screen. I was trying to make it as accurate as possible. Um, and I'm hoping that as I'm making my sim self, I can kind of do a proper introduction video to you guys. And also that will tie in to the project that I want to do. And also a speed build that may or may not have something to do with possibly my dream house. So hopefully that will be exciting and I know I'm excited for it and I'm excited for what you guys get to do as part of this. Also, I debated back and forth about whether or not I should make my husband in The Sims. Um, I felt like it might be kind of weird because you guys, you know, you might hear about him, but you're never going to see him, any of that kind of stuff. And also, I don't know if I personally could handle, handle the internet roasting him for being ginger. Um, I can roast him for being ginger and he can handle it. I don't know if I can. So I don't know if I should make him. Uh, let me know if that is something that actually matters. But either way, I definitely want to make a dream house build. I might even do like a dream life uh, legacy kind of thing or even just like a short let's play. Um, I'm not sure though because I can't really stick with the same family for very long. And I'm not sure I could handle watching my husband die in The Sims. I don't think that would go well for me. And like, I would have to make my dogs and then my dogs would, I don't think I could, I don't know how well I could handle that. Um, and I would probably get bored before the end of like long lifespan or if I had aging off. I am normally like a short legacy kind of girly. I want there to be chaos. I want it to be as crazy as possible. In my own personal gameplay, I do kind of sometimes want to just play with one sim that I don't really have a generational um, aspiration for, I guess. I am not in a rush to get my sim to get married or have kids like I normally am in a short lifespan or even just a normal legacy. Instead, I do sometimes like to just enjoy playing with my sim where it's really slow and realistic and I make my sim, you know, take baths and do yoga and, you know, that kind of stuff. But honestly, I think that would be too slow paced for an actual let's play. And that's just kind of what I do at the end of a long day to chill. And for some reason, I can never do it for more than a couple hours with the same sim. I kind of get bored, even though it's really calming and really nice for me to do. I do eventually want to move on. So really me doing that in my own personal time ends up being like two hours of making a sim and a house and then playing with the sim for another like hour and a half. And then I'm done and I never open the save again. And I have so many saves with just like random sims that I like see and I'm like, oh, I remember that sim, but I'm never going to open the save again. I end up deleting saves after I haven't opened them for a very long amount of time because even though I have two terabytes of storage on my PC, it never seems to be enough. I feel like between all of the screenshots I take and all of the Photoshop work I do and graphic design work I do, and also just like all of the games I have and the custom content I have, I ran out of storage really quick. I actually ordered a SSD, a second one for Cyber Monday. So hopefully that will be here soon. And then I can just put more stuff on my computer that I don't need. I feel like I'm a hoarder with computer stuff sometimes. I also don't know if there will be any kind of quality improvement or like game improvement that you guys can see or even for The Sims 4 necessarily on my end but I am working on upgrading my PC. I just bought some DDR5 RAM that was on sale for Cyber Monday. And then I'm kind of going back and forth about whether I want to wait until before or after Christmas to purchase the new motherboard CPU and AIO cooler loop. Um, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get money for Christmas or if it's something I could like ask my family for because that stuff is so expensive but I want to upgrade my PC. I just literally upgraded my RAM and my CPU like six months ago, but I actually got the RAM and CPU I'm currently using 
from my husband. It was his old one. And now I'm like, nope, it's not good enough. Like, I don't need a good graphics card. I need a great CPU because I don't know how much you guys know about computers or how much you care about computers, but The Sims runs on your CPU. Your graphics card has very little impact on how the game runs. It's all CPU. And that's why like specifically The Sims 3, it can run terrible partially because the game engine is bad, but also because it will just eat up your CPU usage. I have like a pretty good CPU, but I'm always at 100% when I'm loading into The Sims 3 after literally like 30 days of gameplay. So every time I play The Sims 3, I feel like so much of my time is spent like cleaning my saves and then having to move the family I'm currently playing to a new save every 30 in-game days or whatever it is. So that can get really frustrating and I know part of that is really just that the game is not built very well and you know, it's just not optimized great and I've done all of the steps I need to do to try and fix that. But ultimately, I just, I love that game too much and I'm willing to spend way too much money to play it just a little bit faster and for the game to load a little bit faster because I just want to play The Sims 3. That is all I care about right now. Although, like I said, I have been on more of a Sims 4 kick uh, for the past probably two, three weeks. Um, I hadn't picked it up since right after high school years. I played with high school years for like a week and it was super, super broken at the time. And so I just got really frustrated and none of my mods were working and the XML injector was still broken. And so I was just like, you know what? We're playing The Sims 3. So now that I'm done blabbering about all of that stuff, we are reaching the end of the video here. Enjoy some screenshots of this beautiful little tiny build. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and listening to me rambling, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Make sure to take care of yourself, drink some water, and know that you are loved and I am proud of you. Bye.